Hi there and welcome to today's video which is sponsored by Wondershare. Now Wondershare recently got in contact with me and asked me if I would like to test out and review their Recoverit software. Now as the name suggests this is a data recovery tool and being a video professional, someone who's working with large amounts of video data on a pretty much daily basis, despite having really good data management policies and procedures in place, there is always a danger that files can become corrupted or accidentally deleted. Now, what particularly interested me about the Recoverit software was the fact that it specifically has a tool built in for the repair of corrupted video files. So I was interested in trying that out and also the functionality for recovering deleted files, files that may have become deleted accidentally. So without further ado, let's dive into the video and see how the software works. So once the installation is complete, it's just a matter of running the software. And this is the user interface that you get when you first open the software up. It's very easy to navigate and it's pretty much self-explanatory. Now what we're going to do is firstly have a look at the video repair function. So if I go ahead and select this, what this does is it allows you to repair corrupted video files. Now this doesn't happen very often but it is possible potentially if a camera loses power suddenly whilst recording or if a memory card for example is pulled out whilst the camera is still writing to it the file can become corrupted. So we're going to give this a quick test. So if I find a corrupted video file and select that and then hit repair. Now you'll see what it says is that it hasn't been able to repair this video. Try the advanced repair for failed video. So we click OK. What the advanced repair option does is it asks you for a known good file that's been recorded from the same device. So I'm going to go ahead and select a file that I know plays OK. And then I'm going to hit repair. We'll let it run and it says that it's repaired successfully. Now all I did was I was recording my camera and I purposely pulled the memory card out early to, to corrupt the file. And if we go ahead and click the play button, we should be able now to have a preview of the recovered file. And it was just a, a simple shot of me popping my water bottle on my bike. Then what we can do is click save to folder and once again, we can choose a location and it will save the recovered file to that location. So once the file has been recovered, we can navigate to it and then hopefully play through it and see that it works okay. So now I'm just going to demonstrate the recovery of a deleted file and for the purpose of this video I have a JPEG image here on my desktop which I'm going to delete and then attempt to recover. So what I'm going to do is then select the desktop, click start and what the software is going to do is start scanning the desktop. You can see here it's just beginning at 1% and it will take some time because it's looking at all the deleted files that were in that location. So we'll just give it a little bit of time to process. So once the scan's complete it tells you how many files were found and what it recommends doing is that you want to recover though the files that you've deleted, the ones you're looking for as soon as possible. What happens when you delete a file on a computer system is that it doesn't actually get removed but it just gets flagged in the internal file system as overwritable. And so data can be written to that space where that file is at the moment. And once it's been overwritten many, many times by new data, it's very hard uh, even for really good recovery software to get that back. So that's why it's important to recover it as soon as possible. So if we go back in to the desktop here we go we can see various files that were on there that have been deleted we'll go ahead and preview it and there we go we can see that image so that's the one that we want to recover I'm going to go ahead and select that and then go down to the button at the bottom and hit recover now what it allows you to do is to choose a path of where you want to recover that file to if you just deleted it, you can potentially recover it to the same location. 
what's good practice is if the files become corrupted is to save it to a different path so a different drive and in this case what we're going to do is I've actually got a SD card attached to the computer so I'm going to select that and hit recover now once again we just have to wait a few minutes while the software works its magic and it will tell you that it's recovering the files and will give you a progress bar and if we go ahead and click on open the file path it will take us to that and if we have a look it's put it in the same file structure as it was originally on the C drive and if we go ahead and select it there's the image which has been recovered so in terms of recovering files as you can see it works perfectly well one of the things that you need to bear in mind with, with recovery software is the longer you leave it the harder it gets to recover a file if you've been using your computer and creating more data and overwriting data then recovering deleted files can be problematic so it's always best practice that as soon as you've deleted that file or as soon as you're aware that you've deleted it is that you try the recovery process to get it back so hopefully that's a good demonstration of the Wondershare Recover It software showing how you can recover deleted files and also use that video tool to repair corrupted video files. So in terms of the pricing, there are various different options depending on how many licenses you require, whether it's for one PC or two, and the various different options that they offer i think the most expensive is 90 dollars for a lifetime license which depending on how much you value your data isn't bad value at all one of the good things with the software is it does allow you to use it for free and preview deleted files so you can try it first to see if it will recover files that you've lost or that have become corrupted Hopefully you found this video useful. If you do have any questions or comments about the software, do drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.